Hey guys, welcome to EG Technology and my name is Navjot Singh Jadeja and in today's video we are covering overview and concepts of data warehouse and BR. This particular topic is part of data mining and business intelligent video series. This is specifically designed keeping in mind GTU that is Gujarat Technological University syllabus and I'll try to cover each topic in an order so that you can understand it well. In today's video, we are covering reporting versus analyzing. Also, we are going to talk on why reporting and analyzing data is so important. And in the end, we will go through data life cycle, the stages through which the data goes uh, throughout the process in different forms. So let us first understand what is reporting versus analyzing. So guys, there is a lot of uh, you know confusion in terms of what reporting and analysis is and sometimes a lot of people use them uh, vice versa but there is a fine difference between reporting and analysis that's what we'll be discussing in here so reporting is the process of organizing the data into informational summaries which we can use to monitor how different areas within our business within our organization are performing so it is including the different tasks such as building, configuring, consolidating, organizing, formatting and also as I mentioned earlier, summarizing. Summarizing is one important task of the reports. So reports are more of organizing the data, whereas analysis are done more on data and reports in order to get some insights, some meaningful insights, some patterns which can help us understand the improvement areas as well as things which we are doing well. So this is what reporting and analyzing is. And when we understand this, we need to also understand why reporting and analyzing data is so important. Because reporting makes the data into an understandable form. So we might have an organization and we might have so much of data it becomes tough for somebody to understand that huge amount of data in a raw form. So reporting makes it in an understandable form in terms of sheets, in terms of charts, in terms of different uh, reporting tools, right? Whereas analysis are helping us with the insights. So this particular department is doing well. This particular time of the year, we are doing well in terms of performances. Monsoon brings the performance down. Similar kind of insights are available through analysis. Also, reporting allows the organization to track the progress or even a downfall because we can see the patterns. We can see different charts and we can understand how it happens. And good reporting actually raises the questions and analysis provides the answers to those kind of questions. Before we move further, I also need you to understand that there are sometimes the individuals or the organizations confuse two words, which is analytics and analysis. For example, uh, organization may be, uh, you know, focused on general area, which is analytics, let's say strategy building, implementation of those things, reporting, etc but not necessarily on aspect of analysis. So it is like, you know, there's a blur difference between reporting and analysis. Same way there is analytics and analysis, which you need to understand in order to understand their differences. Now, when we move further, when we ask, you know, a person to get the uh, analysis or reporting, we also need to understand we have different forms of data. So this particular life cycle, which a data goes through in order to, you know, uh, get the insights or reach out to a final stage, data goes through multiple stages. And this multiple stages are known as the data life cycle. So basically it allows, uh, you know, it's a sequence of stages, which a particular unit of data goes through from its generation till it's, you know, purging. So the first stage is generation where we actually generate the data through different data entry, different acquisition methods, or sometimes through external uh, sources. Then once we have those data, it can be a sensor data and can be everyday transaction data, anything. 
So once we have those data in the next phase, which is maintenance, we actually process it before using anything. And that particular part is something which is concept of data warehousing. Like we extract, transform, and load, which is ETL. We'll be discussing that in the further part of the videos. But that's what we do in the maintenance. Then we get the usage phase. Now that we have integrated the data, we have extracted the meaningful insights or information. Now we can use it. So usage phase is where the organization objectives and operations are put forward onto the data. Then comes the you know publication phase where we put it for the public. Publication may or may not be part of life cycle. Sometimes depending on what data we are working on it. Once that is done, once it is over, then we archive the data. So data is removed from all active production environments. So no more access to those data for general public or the users. And in some cases, we also do purging. Purging is when we actually, you know, remove the copies or deletion of copies is done so that no more data is accessed by any of the people. So this is what the initial process of understanding the data is. Also the concepts of reporting and analysis. So that once you start the data mining, once you understand data warehouse and BI, you understand what we are expected to do from this. So that is it for today's lecture. If you have any queries, you can comment in the comment section. You can refer to other videos in the you know, playlist. And if you have any, uh, you know, anything which you want to discuss, feel free to comment on that also. Thank you so much. Have a great day.